Every year, commercial truck drivers across the nation undergo the Department of Transportation's Physical Examination, or DOT Physical, a crucial step in ensuring the safety of everyone on the road. To date, we will be talking about a crucial aspect of this physical. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated about important trucking topics. According to the CDC, 34.2 million Americans, or 10.5% of the population, have diabetes. It's a widespread issue, and it has significant implications for the trucking industry. So, let's delve deeper into the DOT physical and its specific requirements for drivers with diabetes. Yeah! The DOT physical is all about safety, ensuring each driver can perform their duties without jeopardizing their health or the safety of others on the road. When it comes to diabetes, there are a few key aspects to be aware of. Firstly, the FMCSA, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, states that drivers with a stable insulin regimen and properly controlled insulin-treated diabetes mellitus are not automatically disqualified from driving. However, to prove this stability and control, drivers must meet specific criteria and present certain documents during their DOT physical. Yeah! Drivers must show that they have been on a stable insulin regimen for a minimum of two months if newly diagnosed, or one month if changing to a new insulin regimen. Drivers must also prove they have maintained proper control of their diabetes, shown through quarterly evaluations with their treating clinician over the past year. Furthermore, drivers are required to monitor their blood glucose levels at least twice daily, and preferably more frequently with the results recorded in a logbook. If during the physical examination, it's discovered that a driver has experienced severe hypoglycemic episodes, it could be a reason for disqualification. But here's some good news. Technological advancements like continuous glucose monitors have made it easier than ever for drivers to monitor their blood glucose levels. This technology could make a big difference in ensuring commercial drivers with diabetes remain compliant with DOT requirements and maintain their driving privileges. Lastly, it's important to remember that each case is unique. Drivers with diabetes should closely work with their healthcare professionals to meet all these requirements. The objective isn't to prevent people with diabetes from driving, but to ensure that they can do so safely. So let's remember that even with diabetes, it is possible to continue a successful career in the trucking industry by staying well-managed and in control of the condition. To learn more about DOT regulations, please visit fmcsaregistration.com or you can give our third-party experts a call at 866-477-0707. Also, our team would love to hear from you right now. What is your opinion about DOT diabetes requirements? Are they too strict for some commercial drivers? Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to like this video, press the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated about important information designed to benefit drivers and carriers.